and welcome to My Mandarin Ducky. Today I'm going to uh, reply to two important questions about polymer clay and supplies. So this video I'll try to keep it short, so let's begin. Um, my question is, can you mix Fimo with Sculpey please and can you mix soft, soft Sculpey like Sculpey 3 with Prema? I didn't know the answer to this, so I set up a questionnaire in, um, on my page, and my profile, in the groups, and um, this is what I found out. Apparently you can mix any clays together, uh, even Kato clay, which has different um, curing temperature, baking temperature. Um, many people do that, and um, as long as you don't go over 130 degrees, you're going to be fine with any clay brand. With Kato, if you mix it with Sculpey, Premo, um, I think you can go, I think they said you can go even up to 140 or something like that, um, or st stick to one th you know, 130 de degrees. This is Celsius, it's not Fahrenheit. So, um, and you're going to be fine. So, um, Basically, when you mix up clays, it's like mixing up different elements. There's not going to be an explosion, but the qualities will merge. So if Sculpey 3 is brittle and uh, Fimo Soft is too soft, when you mix it, of, but Fimo Soft is also quite flexible, if you mix it, it's going to be something in between. So um, it's not bad, it's going to be less brittle, but it's going to be kind of more flexible, but not as much as Fimo Soft, and also not as brittle as Sculpey 3 altogether. So that's that's the reply. So yes, you can mix, um, and the curing temperature for all of them is 130 degrees, which is uh, 260 or 270 um, Fahrenheit, I think, that's what it is. Um, and that's it. With K2 it's a bit more specific, but even then you can mix it with different clays as well. Um, and question number two, do you have a list of favorite places to buy supplies? Well, I'm from UK, so I wouldn't be able to give an answer for the whole world about that. Um, but in UK, I sit in my home and I buy from eBay and Etsy. <laughs> so all of my uh, crystals, all of my um, gold-plated, silver-plated supplies, I buy from Etsy. Uh, some of the crystals I buy from eBay as well. When you are buying crystals from eBay, please avoid China because China likes to color their um, crystals. For example, if you're buying, like I made a mistake, I bought um, Aqua Aura Quartz, which is supposed to be naturally blue and transparent, like quartz. Um, and they actually sent me just, um, you, you could see it was like a dyed uh, white quartz. So that's not good. And um, majority of the pictures usually are kind of, um, you know, the picture is good, but what arrives is not as good. So I really like buying from India because um, somehow I just managed to find a couple of shops that are really, really honest and they're selling you, they have nice pictures and they sell you the exact items that, you know, and they look um, almost as good as the photo. Photo will still look most of the time much better because people who are trying to sell their products are trying to sell their products they're not trying to just show what they really are <laughs> but yeah the quality is really good um sometimes i go to uh, local craft stores when i really really quickly need something um but mainly i try to buy online because it is cheaper and as for polymer clay i buy my polymer clay from um clay around and clay ground so cernit is from clay ground and clay around is all the other clays there you go that's it for today bye <laughs> no i mean yeah it's it's fine <laughs> bye bye